Yo guys, what's going on? Yoki here and welcome back to the channel. And today I thought we'd just do something that helps you out just a little bit. I would imagine by now quite a few of you have picked up the game. And you're going to be greeted by this screen when you first start a career map. Now once you get to this screen, you're going to set up your tactical vision. But what we're going to talk about today really is the staff. How to get the best out of them, how to find the staff. Just the basics so that you guys have some knowledge about this system that is new to the game right off the bat. When choosing your staff, what tactical style you pick is going to be very important. I am, for the sake of it, going to go Gagan pressing because I imagine quite a lot of people will go Gagan pressing, so we're going to choose Gagan press. And now, once you get there, you're going to have a screen like this. You guys won't have this guy at the top unless you pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition. This is what you get given now. There is no more Scout Future Star. This is basically your bonus for spending... 92 i think it was 100 pound this time around right so this is the bonus you're going to get given for that and it's going to be emma moody here who is an unbelievable coach and she's going to demand a high salary so you can see our weekly budget up at the top just above me and that's going to dictate what you can spend on these coaches i will just put this one straight out there when you start the game if you've got the ultimate edition you hire this coach there is no reason whatsoever not to hire this coach you do have to bear in mind though when you're hiring coaches up to the top left that you do have a staff capacity this is something i made a mistake on i was rushing just trying to get coaches through the door just so we were close to the stars and we'll explain what the stars do after we start hiring coaches but just remember bear in mind that depending on the team as well this will be different team by team and your budget will be different team by team if you're a bigger team you'll have a bigger budget with more staff that you're allowed smaller team just represents the same but on the lower end now i chose gagan press and you will see the tactical vision down on that left hand side where they have the gagan pressing symbol it's pretty straightforward the symbol system this means that they are a gold standard gagan pressing coach i'm gonna hire her instantly and then i can choose what slot to put her in she's five stars in everything so it doesn't really matter what slot i pick here she's gonna be perfect in them all but what should be bared in mind is that there are certain positions where you're going to need more five star coaches I most likely can hit the 12 stars that is ideal for attack with three coaches here. But in midfield, it's going to be a little bit more difficult because they want 21 stars. Now, the stars is based on the quality in your squad. We'll look at that in a minute, but I'm just going to plug in Moody right now. She's going to be perfect because she's five stars. And you're already going to see here the impact that it has on each player, how much better it makes the player. The closer we get to the stars needed in each position, the better the players are going to perform because they will have this boost. I think this system is a lot better than what we had before where basically if you had sharpness you had these boosts now you're going to need the coaches to give you these boosts and what i love down the left hand side is that it shows you the knowledge level and what impact then they will have and i think it's just really clean how it breaks it all down for you We've chosen leads for this one, but look at the impact they're having. I don't know why there's impact on Rodan and Alien. We haven't hired anyone for that, but the more we have in here in midfield, the bigger the impact. Also, the more coaches you have that meet this ideal, the better your player development plans are going to work. If you're planning to use development plans this year, you really are going to have to nail down the coaches. You're going to need good enough coaches. And it kind of guesses it here what you need on the right hand side. Now it's going to base the amount of stars you need on the amount of plays you have. But as well as the quality. So the higher in overall, the more you're going to need. But it does count the youth players. This is something you should bear in mind. Now the reason it's 21 isn't really anything to do with our average overall. It's to do with the fact that we have 14 midfielders in the team. So that has had a huge impact on how many staff we need there for midfield. But this will massively help boost the development plans you'll see this change quite greatly once you plug in more coaches or remove coaches that's something that's really important to think about but i've definitely noticed for the development plans when i haven't had coaches players have developed extremely slowly so if you're planning on developing your players to the upper potential and to the dynamic potential that you want them to fulfill you are definitely going to need to nail these coaches now i need an attacking coach and we don't have one but there are no more gagan press five stars four stars attacking coaches i would always recommend that you don't hire a coach that is below four stars my personal opinion when you're in the lower leagues that might be something you need to do but i haven't done any lower than the championship yet but bear in mind to get the best results you want a gold standard gagan pressing badged coach that's how we're going to call them. I'm going to call them badges. People might call them different things, but I'm just going to call them badges, probably from playing 2K. But basically, you can get away with this because this is something I learned. If I go and pick this coach right here, and you'll already see now they've got a bronze badge, I'll stick them in attack, which is five, which is fantastic. Now, I'm not going to get as much as a boost because they're an expert in park the bus and not in Gagan pressing. But one of the key things here is the more and more that they do the Gagan press, 
the more and more adept they get at being a gig and pressing coach. So don't let them put you off. If you find a five-star coach that is not gold standard for gig and pressing, it doesn't mean don't hire them. In my opinion, I would still hire them. By the end of the season, they will at least be silver, if not gold. So that is something to bear in mind. You might want to chop and change tactics a lot. We'll do a tactic video later down the line, but this is important. Don't be put off. By not having the gold star Gagan press or whatever you're doing, because they will learn that over time. And although it's not the greatest of impacts, you're gonna see here that Jorginho Ruta is going to go up plus two, and he's going to get the novice level. So he's gonna get an increase to his short pass, his sprint speed, and his interception. We're just not going to get the rest. His strength is finishing his dribbling. Now, if I hire another coach that is strong though at Gagan press and does have the stars that we need in the long run, they will all improve. So that's just so Something to note. You might not get as much improvement, but you will still get some of these coaches and it'll grow over time. Now, this is something I didn't know about. So you guys might not know about this either, but I can actually set up what I want. I can say that I want accomplished or high. I can say I want expert in our current play style, which is Gagan Press. And I can say, look, I've got no one in defense. I want them to be four stars or higher. If I do this, I apply it. Then when they find those coaches, instead of you having to constantly come back every week, this will send you a nice little notification into your email box and tell you when they're available. I didn't know about this. I was just checking every week or two when playing the game, but this is, this is pretty decent because you're now going to be given that feedback when you need it. And you don't have to waste time then just sitting and scanning and looking. And you can really then get just the coaches that you need. I would at least go through straight off the bat and have one or two coaches in each position. You can always replace them. You can always fire them. And what I've noticed so far is my budget usually greatly exceeds the amount of coaches that I can get. So I've not really had any issues. There's usually one position that... I have an influx of players or players that are too good that I might not quite hit the ideal. But so far, I've been pretty good at getting it every time. And you can just come over to this team strategy bit whenever you want to look for coaches. And it will also tell you as you change over time why you're going to need more stars in that position. I would recommend, though, you keep a few things the same, like free goalkeepers. It'll make your life a lot easier with the coaches. And then never have too many players in one position like we have here at Leeds. I've just got way too many midfielders. Should also make you give a little bit more force to the youth academy because if you fill this youth academy with a ton of players that will impact your coaches how much i don't know that's something we probably have to test over time but i can imagine if you fill this like i have done in years past when i'm doing big road to glory say you're gonna have a huge impact on your coaches so it might actually be better these days keeping the ones that you think are definitely going to be good talents and the other ones promote them, send them out on loan, and then you can figure that out down the line. But that's going to be it for this one, lads. I hope this helps you. If you've got any more advice, leave it down below. This is basically just an introduction to the coaching. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet and as simple and quick as possible for you guys to pick up. And just get going with the coaches straight away. Maybe just a little bit more knowledge than what I had at the start of playing career mode. But I appreciate you all. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any more advice or feedback on the coaching system, leave that down below. We'll probably make a couple more videos on some of the other new systems in the game. But if you've just got it, I hope you're having a great time. Let me know what career mode you're doing. And if you want more career mode content from me, there are series on the channel.